All right, folks, thanks for checking out the video. I want to play a clip today from a recent appearance by Daily Wire commentator Matt Walsh at New Mexico State University in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Now, most of you have probably seen plenty of uh, Matt Walsh uh, in the last couple of years. He, he had his documentary, uh, What is a Woman? And he recently had a conversation with a so-called trans woman and I want to play the clip and sort of give some uh, commentary on it. So here it is. Hi, Matt. Uh, I'm transgender. I'm born and raised here in New Mexico. I have a graduate degree in information technology, marketing, business, and finance. Uh, I own my own home. I pay taxes. I have a six-figure job. I'm a respected professional in Albuquerque. Uh, I'm a mother. Uh, Wait, he's a mother? Maybe he has a cat. I don't know. My life experience is that I'm an awesome person. I am well-liked. Uh, I'm responsible. And I think I'm pretty cool. Uh, you touched on something. You said something earlier that for you, when somebody calls you a man, it doesn't phase you because, like... You just know that you're a man. Uh, that was interesting to me because I feel the same way about my identity as a woman. My question leading up to this, you've asserted... Okay, now, this is obviously a man pretending to be a woman. Okay, and they're going to get into this, but nobody would look at this guy and say, oh, that's a woman. What do you think? that no one would ever see me as a woman, that nobody would ever see or could see a transgender person as a woman, and yet I have dozens of friends from diverse backgrounds, women from the reservation, a woman from Japan, uh, several immigrant women. I have my coworkers, I have my boss, my VP, my CEO, all respecting me as a woman, uh, my family, my long-term friends who... Okay. Now, I don't know where this guy works, but his coworkers, his VP or whatever, these people are probably scared to death of getting hit with a lawsuit if they, you know, God forbid, say anything to this guy like... Hey, maybe, maybe you don't really look like a woman. And as far as his uh, so-called uh, dozens of friends, well, they're playing into this man's delusion. You are actually here with me. I, all of these people assure me, like, I'm a woman. They'll tell me, girl, like, there is no way you are a man. They why, see me as a woman. Why? So the question, okay. how can you assert that nobody would ever see me as a woman when my material experience tells me you're wrong? Okay. It's interesting that that's the part of my talk you chose to ask a question about because that's not in my talk at all. Um, I don't believe I said that no one would ever see you as a woman. I mean, it's possible, I suppose, that you could fool someone. Now, you brought this up, so I have to tell you that I, you brought this up. You've, you've put your identity on the table for conversation. And so I'm going to say you, you wouldn't fool me at all. I mean, I see a man 100%. Um, and I think that most people would. Now, the, the, fact, the fact that you have people in your life who are saying to you, oh, you're totally a woman, it's exactly what I'm talking about. No one in my life has ever once said to me, you're totally a man, Matt. You know, if, my, if, 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 if a friend of mine called me on the phone and said, listen, Matt, I want you to know you're really a man, I would think that there was something wrong with him. I would say, why are you saying that at all? It doesn't make any sense. So the fact that this is a conversation to begin with tells me it only, it only proves the point that I'm trying to make, that, the, that your identity, even in your own mind, is up for, is, is something that you need to be assured of. Now, what I, what I would like to ask you, again, because you're standing here, and, and so uh, you've brought your identity and on the table for discussion. So, uh, how did you, how do you know that you're a woman? Uh, it was first when I heard transgender persons describe their experience in their own words. And this was only about two years ago. Uh, 
hearing somebody describe things, it was a woman from like England describing her experience, her childhood, uh, her teenage years. And it blew my mind to be listening to her because it was just some podcast that I was listening to while I was like doing laundry. But it blew my mind to hear somebody so eloquently and precisely describe things that I had experiences. Okay. All right. So this guy was doing laundry one day and he was listening to a podcast and he heard another man who thinks he's a woman talk about his experience and then said, Hey, that's me. So that's, that's, that's the validation that, that, that this guy needed to, um, I guess, come to the realization that he's really a woman. What, was I the had what did they say? Um, okay. So I am honestly hesitant. I know that you touched earlier about the difficulty that transgender women might have in describing their identity, but I want to state I honestly don't feel that you would engage in this conversation in good faith. Then why are and you here? So, why did you stand up to talk to me if you don't want to have a conversation? Right. You're, you're saying that you discovered that you're a woman. I'm asking you how you did. That's a very fair question. Okay, okay. How do you know that you're a woman? That's fine. All right. So first of all, listening to transgender people. And it was like, okay, this is a one-off, you know, one person describing these things. Um, things like looking at yourself in the mirror and not recognizing yourself. Uh, hearing compliments, like you are such an example, like a positive masculine role model. And just hearing that and being like, you know, it feels like they're talking about somebody else. Um, it means feeling alone, even when you're surrounded by guys, even when you have a lot of friends. And I was active in like Boy Scouts. I'm an Eagle Scout. Uh, I had great masculine role models my whole life. And yet I never felt like I belonged. I felt welcome and but included. Why, why does that make you a woman? Uh, because As opposed I, to just a, a man who doesn't get along with some other men, or a man who's, who's, who's depressed, or a man who doesn't feel at home totally in his body, which, by the way, is a, is a pretty universal human experience. Everybody goes through it at one time or another. So, so in what way does that make you a woman, though? And you, you, it, It's interesting. You're, you're telling me that you listen to the experiences of other transgender people. Well, yeah. But what about women? So you, you're because you are trans women are women, you would say, right? I would say that. Yeah, exactly the same. Yes. OK, well, then why well, do you need to hear the testimony of trans, quote unquote, trans women? Like how how do how, you pick any any actual woman in this room? In, in what way do you know that you belong in the same category as them? Uh, I know because they tell me. So here was the you need them to tell you what you are women. Yes. I trust the opinions of the women around and me. If most it's women, incredible. You might try it sometime. If most women voted and said they don't see you as a woman, would you say I'm not a woman anymore? If who? If most women voted and said they don't see you as a woman anymore, would you then relent and say I'm not a woman? I would say most people on the planet have no idea who I am. I'm going to trust the opinions of the people who've spent their lives with me. So, you, But you are relying on other people to tell you who you are, is what we're establishing. For context. I know you like to think, I know you like to say, um, I know you like to say uh, everybody's raw, rawing and supporting transgender people and yet they're still killing themselves, et cetera. Um, okay. That's because the problem is in the mind. The, the problem with somebody that has gender dysphoria is in their mind. Their body is not the problem. So unless and until they ever get the psychological help that they need, they're always going to have these mental problems and will be at highly increased risk of suicidal ideations. But I'm standing here in a room full of people applauding you and asking questions like, how can I like put out legislation here in New Mexico, you know, my home state I grew up in, to try to reverse transgenderism? Like, I'm not safe. Well, the issue people have is when you're targeting kids, when you're targeting minors. Okay, so... I haven't seen any legislation that's going to affect um, adults. 
Meaning if somebody wants to become what this guy wants to be as an adult, currently they're, they're able to do that. Now, he sort of contradicts himself here because in the beginning he says, oh, I have all these friends. I have this great job. I make a six-figure income. I'm such, I'm such a cool person. You know, like everything's great. And then now he turns around and says, oh, well, I'm, I'm not safe. So which is it? Do you want to pick a side? And it How are you wasn't... not safe? You just said you're standing in a room people disagree with you and you're perfectly fine. So how are you not safe? Like, I, okay, look, we're, we're going round and round. You, <laughs> you, you don't want to answer any of the questions. Maybe we'll, we'll just, we'll end with this because we're talking about womanhood. So people could probably shout out the question I'm going to ask you right now. Okay. But uh, you know that you're a woman. Yes. What is that? There it is. Uh, so gender is a social thing. It only makes sense. I don't want to hear that. What is a woman? Thing? What no. is a woman? What is a woman? The word, word woman, define in the dictionary. Go. A woman is somebody who is included and respected and seen and participates in society, recognized by other women. If you speak with women... Circular definition. That's my... Whatever. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. So I thought that was pretty good. Um, you know, uh, he, 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 gets, he gets to the question there at the end of, about what is a woman, and, and this guy, you know can't define woman without using the term woman um, doesn't doesn't really have a, a legitimate uh, answer to that um, but I mean it, it, you know at the end of the day it was a a civil interesting conversation which I think we need more of and in, in fact I think if, if if we had more interactions like this I I, I think this whole trans thing would would sort of uh, subside over time because it points out all of the all the all the holes, all of the trappings that that the people that purport to be this way can't can't explain, can't describe. So let me know what you all think. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.